Hi everybody, Paul with PTZ Optics here. In this video, I want to show you how Chat Connect Pro can actually build the title you're seeing right here, which allows us to do YouTube comments and Facebook comments on our live stream all at the same time. Plus, you can see I have live captions going. A lot of you asked for that, so I'm going to do a two-in-one video tutorial here. Let's get started. So for those of you who do not know, Chat Connect Pro is a really awesome uh, plugin that's free for all of our customers. So if you're one of our customers, just send me an email at paul.richards at ptzoptics.com and I will send it to you for free. If you're not one of our customers, we're just going to charge $10 just so that we can continue to keep the development of this really cool pl platform going. Now, for that being said, it really works best with vMix today because vMix has data source integration and they have a great title editor. So that's what I'm going to show it to you on today. If you're on OBS, Wirecast, XSplit, or Livestream Studio, we do have a web browser um, title editor, which allows you to actually bring in those titles, uh, which you can just upload PNGs and do it all in the cloud, and then use a... Um, what's called a web browser input in your software and actually bring those titles in. So it is pretty cool, but to do a lot of the advanced stuff that I'm going to show you today, you do need vMix. Now, with that being said, vMix supports NDI, so you can actually integrate with OBS, XSplit, Wirecast, and Livestream over a local area network and run a titling instance of vMix with the basic HD version or even the SD version. Um, and power your titles over NDI, which is allowing for so much great stuff. So let's take a look at how it's set up. So here is the um, Chat Connect Pro plugin, and you can see here that I just go log right into my WordPress, and once you've got it all configured, I'm not going to configure everything, we go ahead and we copy the JSON, and this is all, um, all the configuration and everything set up in uh, the setup guide you can get on chatconnectpro.com. Once we do that, in vMix, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the data source manager, we're going to go into settings, and we're going to type in the JSON link. Then we're going to go to Facebook and do the exact same thing. So when we go to Facebook, um, it's going to, we've already set that up and everything. Of course, if you haven't set that up, you can learn how to. You have to go to the Facebook developer app. But once we've done that, we do the exact same thing and we go ahead and connect it to um, the data source manager. Now we can go ahead and populate our vMix titles with all of this, these, these great information. We can use the loop feature, the auto next feature, and determine how quickly we want everything to go about. So, I've already got this really cool title that I was showing you earlier, and I'll go ahead and pull it up one more time here, right below. And this is actually going to be pulling through the data through that data source um, button there. And you can see that we basically have five, six variables. And so we've got a profile name from YouTube and a profile name from Facebook. We have a profile image from YouTube and a profile image from Facebook. And we have the message from YouTube and Facebook. Those are the, the primary six variables that we're going to be populating our title with. And the cool thing is, is that vMix data sources is going to allow us to very simply and easily uh, determine if we want them to loop, how quickly we want the information to go from, from uh, one cell to the next in our data sheet, and the integration is seamless and you only have to log in once and you've got this information. So if you run multiple YouTube channels, um, you can actually have multiple uh, WordPress sites with this all integrated and it manages all of the API integration, which is what we really wanted to do. So now you can see you can see how it's, it's looping and everything. Uh, the Facebook integration is a little different than the YouTube integration. The Facebook one's pretty cool. It allows you to pull in any post, so any comments from any post ever, whereas YouTube actually just pulls in whatever live stream you connect to at the time. Uh, so that that's why the uh, the Facebook one there has got a ton of comments because I just chose one from the past that had a ton of comments on it. But you can see the pictures pull through, the names pull through, the comments pull through, and it really works great with 
vMix. So a uh, note on vMix and NDI. You can see here that NDI works with Livestream, it works with the TriCaster, it works with OBS, Wirecast, vMix, VLC, and XSplit. So if you are looking at using Chat Connect Pro and you use one of these other live streaming softwares, you might want to consider vMix having such great data source integration um, to actually put a basic vMix license on another Windows machine and then use NDI to pump those graphics in if you really want to do this and you're on live stream OBS or Wirecast. Otherwise, we do have a web browser system and you can take a look at what that looks like on the Chat Connect Pro website. Um, it is it is fairly robust, but just not quite as robust as what uh, Data Sources does, what I'm showing you with the title that I just showed you there. Now, last thing I know I mentioned mm -hmm. I was going to show this. Here is webcaptioner.com and what this does is it allows you to actually edit the basically what it does is you can connect um, your installation of or you sorry let me start over you can connect your audio from your video production live to webcaptioner pro webcaptioner.com and it allows you to sync this up so I want to I'm gonna pause here and just show this really quickly. So what you can see here is that basically vMix has multiple audio outputs and so does Wirecast and Livestream and all the other different platforms so it's no surprise um, that this is this is being done but what we're doing is we're using virtual audio cables and if you don't have virtual audio cables already I highly suggest that you get them because they're quite nice for stuff like this and what we do is we use the secondary right, audio output you got to go back here and we go ahead and uh, pump all of that information into web captioner then we simply do a desktop capture and we run a chroma key on it and at the end of the day we actually have a really great little title with the captions that runs live and uh, that is pretty much it so let me pull it up one more time here it is running right here I hope that makes sense if you have any questions go ahead um, leave them in the comments below don't forget to like this and share it if you think it's something that people will like I am really excited about this live comments from YouTube and Facebook live captions you're gonna be seeing this in most of our new live streams I don't have our outro video queued up and it's the end of the day so don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching take care everybody